Paul, it's so great to see it's you again. It's great to see you again. And oh my God, you've come all this way from, uh, from, from Iceland, Iceland to yeah. here. Yeah. Oh my God, and you've had a baby. I have. Yes, love. I know. Yeah, oh, lots of life changes. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you, you very much. You still look as young as you were. Oh, thank you. Kind of you to say. So I guess startups keep you young, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't and stress hair color keeps you young. <laughs> If, if they don't stress you out too yeah, much. Yeah. Yeah. So tell me a bit about Green Card because I know I've sure. been following your uh, movements on Facebook. Yeah, and yeah. So, um, so when I went over to Iceland, um, I got linked up with this company called Green Cloud. We're in the cloud computing space. Our competitors are Amazon Web Services and Rackspace and you know others of that, that nature. Uh, so what we do to differentiate is we power the cloud on renewable energy, which is a play to kind of reduce the IT industry's carbon emissions, which has actually become more significant than the automobile and airline industry combined. So um, we tap into the Icelandic uh, electrical grid, which is the only 100% renewable energy grid in the world. And uh, we have two data center locations there. and. We just have really compelling cloud hosting and storage solutions. So we're in that same space. We're just powering it by re on renewable energy. Yeah. And so I guess your market is global, right? Yeah, it is a global market. We have over 1,000 customers in 81 countries. Wow. I would say our biggest customer base would be in the US, the Netherlands, and uh, Iceland. Uh, our biggest market segment is the enterprise market segment and also the university research and, uh, and education facilities, actually. So, some amazing stuff comes out of that. So yeah. I'm just like at the moment in love with the song uh, from Alofa and the song. Yeah. Um, uh, now I am winter. Oh my yeah. God, it's such a great song. Yeah, well, I mean, in addition to the oh amazing God. music exports yeah. in Iceland, which is an extraordinarily creative yeah. community. And Sigur Rós. Yeah, and, of yeah. course, Bjork, everybody, of Monsters and Men, yep. Retro Stefsson, I could go on because I listen to a lot of Iceland. Such a small island, and yet they produce yeah, it's so much. And what's really, really unique about Iceland is, one, you have a community of 320,000 people, and it's a highly creative community. Art is part of the culture. So you don't only have uh, music exports and film exports, that creativity folds itself well into the tech community. And uh, so you get these uh, tech startups that are extraordinarily creative. Like They're going into big spaces against big competition, and what they're doing is, uh, is of course, disrupting those spaces. In our case, it's through uh, usability and the ability to migrate between cloud providers and, and topping that on, on top of the renewable energy. And in other cases, it's you know a new way to look at genetic uh, material and how to compare that. You know, decode. So uh, uh, I believe it was to Amgen. Um, so there's a lot of uh, Icelandic startups in the tech space and the science space that are actually becoming uh, world renowned. Um, we had a success. I was on the board of a company called Clara uh, this last year, and they sold at the beginning of the year to Jive Software here in the Valley. Um, they had a really successful exit, and uh, so we're starting to see traction in that space. So, uh, of course, being in-house at a at a company that's in a multi-billion-dollar industry where you get you know the options and what have you, I'm, I'm you know invested in the company and. and really looking forward to its direction. So it's a really exciting time in Iceland. And so what's the venture industry like? It's really limited. In fact, what happens is most of the Icelandic companies, when they're launching, they get their seed funding from either bank grants or uh, EU grants or some other kind of grant within their segment, environmental grants. Um, and then there's a venture firm uh, there that it predominantly um, funds most of the startups there. And they really kind of do a great job at getting the, the companies up and running and off the ground. Um, but there's a lot of money in Iceland. It's just that they don't, uh, the community doesn't reinvest in, in itself. So uh, you won't see pension funds investing in startups where you would see something like that here um, because they're not accustomed to that risk. And, and they tend to be risk averse, so they kind of feed into the same companies over and over again. So we're trying to change that. Um, I'm part of a group of people that volunteer their time to do Startup Iceland. So what we do is we bring in uh, startup, prominent members from the startup community in Europe and the startup community in the US 
and we bring them together nicely because we're halfway between both. And we have a really great few days of, uh, of talks, of workshops, of uh, just sharing ideas to really see how we can build a stable and sustainable global startup ecosystem. Um, so what we found with Icelandic startups is they start with their seed funding and, and Icelanders and Icelandic entrepreneurs can get a lot more done with less money than I've seen in any other startup community I've participated in. And that's wonderful. I mean, you know, we're at a stage where we have a thousand customers in 81 countries and we've only done a seed round. Right, so uh, so now we're going for that Series A, and we're looking outside of Iceland for that Series A, particularly because of um, the U.S. community and the European community having a more sophisticated venture uh, venture community. Right, right, I, I and think, obviously access to greater capital. I seem to remember a few years ago when I was doing my project that there was a couple of female venture capitalists in Iceland. Yeah, um, uh, yes, actually, Helga Valfels is the yeah. CEO, uh, and I'm going to say, uh, it's a very difficult name to say, so we abbreviate yes. it by calling it NSA, <laughs> but to be very clear, it's not that NSA, yeah. <laughs> but it's a very long name that I have very much trouble pronouncing, yeah. but Helga is the CEO of that venture fund, and that's the fund I was referring to earlier yeah. that actually funds the... Uh, a, a lot of the Icelandic entrepreneurs and wow. it really sets them up and um, one of the things that they're actually investing in themselves is trying to broaden their network so not only invest financially but invest with mentorship and invest with network because right. um, they spend a lot of time going to venture forums and, and programs all around the country all around the world um, trying to to kind of heighten the profile of Icelandic uh, startups, because obviously the more successful the startups that they uh, offer seed funding to, the yeah. better everyone exits. Yeah. So uh, so they're they're really, really great. Like, uh, and, and Helga is just, I really love working with her. Um, you know, it's also really great to see uh, a, a prominent, uh, very remarkable uh, Woman venture capitalist, you know, you don't, uh, as you know, in the tech industry you, yeah. or any industry really, you don't run into that a lot. So yeah. she, I, I really look up to her. I, I think she does a great job. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Well, look, all the best with your Thank new you round. so much. And so good yes, to see you yes, again. Good to see you again, again too. Blessings on you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay.